We're fucking trash, man. This fucking team right here. I don't even know why I bother to even support this fucking team anymore. This team fucking makes me sick to my fucking stomach, man. You know that? It fucking makes me fucking sick to my fucking stomach every week. It ruins my Sunday. You know? I'm used to it at this point. I'm used to this team being a fucking basement dweller. Always last place in the AFC West. I forgot how it feels like to be a playoff team, you know? I'm not fucking doing this shit anymore, guys. Like, I'm not fucking saying this team's a playoff team anymore. Every year, I, I, gotta, I gotta make myself an idiot. I make myself look like an idiot saying this team's gonna go 10-7 and 7 every year. This team made fucking 10 wins and shit. This roster is overrated as shit. I don't give a fuck if we have injuries. I don't care. I do not care about injuries. There's teams out there like the fucking Lions, the Giants, the Jets. that are actually better than us. And look what they got. It's just unreal. You trade for Russell Wilson and you got worse. You got worse. Offensively, he's a fucking my nightmare, man. Nathaniel Hackett giving up on play calling duties to Clint Kubiak. By the way, I'm going to give Clint Kubiak a little credit here. I thought he did pretty well today. Um, obviously, I'll get into more about what the problem is. Um, is Melvin Gordon, that piece of fucking shit. It, it's the same shit, guys. I, why, why, why am I going to rant on here about Melvin Gordon anymore? Why? He fumbles the ball right before halftime, okay? Thankfully, our old lineman recovered it, you know, got it back at least, but then we tried kicking a field goal, and it got blocked. I swear, Melvin Gordon, he just brings bad luck to this damn team. He does. I don't know. Ever since that fumble in that game, it wasn't the same. Because we were we were actually scoring touchdowns, kicking field goals. The offense was clicking a little bit. But right after that fumble, it just went downhill. I don't understand it. Melvin Gordon is a fucking nightmare. He's a curse. He's a piece of fucking shit. And he should be released tomorrow. He should be released tomorrow. Tomorrow or tonight. I don't care. He should. There's no excuse around it. This guy is a straight bum every fucking week. I'm sick and tired of... I was arguing people weeks ago when I said get rid of this guy. Oh, he's still okay running back. He sucks. The guy's been fumbling his whole fucking career. No wonder why Charger fans wanted to get rid of this guy. The guy is a straight bum. He fucking sucks Ass. He's not even a starting running back in the league. I I think Latavius Murray, he had some really good runs today. Um, I thought he was pretty solid, Latavius Murray. I think he, he, he has earned the starting job for the rest of the year. Because Javante Williams is obviously out. Chase Edmond gets hurt. That's another thing. Thousand million injuries. A thousand injuries. I'm looking at this training staff, this medical staff. Every fucking year, injuries just keep piling up. I think we have the most injuries in the NFL on IR. We have so much money, so much salary cap on the IR. Just unreal. Every year, injuries. And I know injuries are part of the game, but goddamn, this is fucking pathetic. You don't see any other team deal with this many injuries. And I'm not sitting here blaming the injuries, because this team is fucking trash. Let's get that straight real quick. We just got swept by Josh McDaniels. Last year, we got swept by an interim head coach, Rich Basacci. The Raiders have swept us three years in a row. We haven't beat the Chiefs since 2015. What does that tell you? This team is not about shit. It's full of shit. And we're going to be continue to be... Basement dwellers, I really don't see a bright future for this damn team right here. I'm seeing dark days coming. And I'm, I'm being real. I'm seeing dark days coming for this Denver Broncos team. And I know a lot of people want Hackett out of the building. It's Honestly, guys, it's more than Hackett. Because we've been having these problems for fucking seven, eight years now. I do agree. Hackett is over his head. He, I don't think he's a really good head coach. But there's, there's a lot of issues wrong with this team right now. A lot of issues. Higher up front office guys, they're to blame too. 
John Elway fucked his team up. And I, I, I don't want to fire George Payne. I know a lot of people are saying fire George Payne. I think he's done a good job. I think George Payne has done a solid job. Um, he's drafted pretty well. Um, but yeah, I know he had a big mistake with the Russell Wilson trade and giving him $250 million. That was a really bad mistake. But overall, he does well drafting and developing, but I know a lot of people are calling for his job already, um, even though he's been here like only one or two years, but we gave Elway how many years? We gave fucking John Elway how many years, and you guys were already calling for George Payton's job. You guys made me fucking sick. You guys sit here and de fucking defend John Elway for his mistakes. Give give George Payton another year. I think George Payton's going to get another year. Hopefully he will. Because it's not all on him. It's not all on him. I understand he hired Nathaniel Hackett. He brought in Russell Wilson. But this team is, is just more bad than that. Let's be real. Like I said, Melvin Gordon, he should be gone tomorrow. There's no fucking excuse around it. He should be released. Um, I saw that Nathaniel Hackett may get fired tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. He didn't call plays today. Nathaniel Hackett didn't call plays today. So you really cannot blame him. Uh, but I thought Clint Kubiak did a solid job today for his first time calling plays this year. I know he called plays like last year in Minnesota, but yeah. Russell Wilson, guys, let's talk about him now. He's just not the quarterback that I was expecting when we traded for him. He's just not the guy that I was expecting getting, you know. And he sure the hell is not a guy that I'm going to pay 200 50 million dollars to he just has not been making good throws he just has not been the guy that we've seen over the years in Seattle I don't know what has got into him is it bad coaching is it just him being bad is it him being washed it's un it's unknown at this point but he's just not that guy right now and I'm sick and tired of him doing his fucking corny ass let's ride do us do high knees let's do high knees stop that shit stop it Quit fucking doing all this corny shit. Quit it. It'd be different if this team is winning, but why the fuck are you gonna sit here and do corny ass jokes when they're fucking we're three and seven? Come on now. Oh, let's do high knees on a plane. Let's do high knees. Oh, let's ride. Let's ride, Broncos country. Stop it. Enough of that bullshit. No more of that corny ass garbage. Sick and st I'm sick and tired of seeing it. And I just want to talk about... We cannot stop Josh Jacobs today. Again, the guy just owns us. He runs right all run through us. He was wide open. In that, in that late fourth quarter, he was wide the fuck open. Josie Jewell fucking sucks in coverage, of course. Josie Jewell and Alex Singleton fucking suck in coverage. I don't give a fuck if they're good against the run. They are fucking liabilities out there in coverage. They fucking are horrendous. Josh Jacobs just ran right past him. They got him in field goal range. Then it tied it up. We went to overtime. And then Devontae fucking Adams was wide open. Patrick Sertan got fucking killed today. Devontae Adams clearly destroyed Patrick Sertan today. And I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, it's all Sertan's fault. No, he's a second-year guy. He's been a lockdown corner the whole year, basically. You know, players have bad games, but it was a bad game for Sertan, man. It was really a bad game. I think um, Devontae Adams had over 100 yards. Josh Jacobs had over 100 yards. Their playmakers beat the shit out of us. Josh Jacobs, Devontae Adams were fucking killing us. But I just don't understand it. You leave these guys wide open. Devontae Adams was fucking wide open. This secondary. I'm going to call it secondary out real quick. All right, let's go, let's go one by one. Kareem Jackson, you are washed. You fucking suck ass. You can't catch a fucking interception. You get burnt in coverage. You just fucking suck. It's time for you to retire, Kareem Jackson. And Justin Simmons, I'm sick and fucking tired of you. This guy runs his fucking mouth. This guy sits here and acts like... I'm sick and tired of the media saying he's the best safety in the league. He is not the fucking best safety in the league. He's not. The guy can't tackle worth a shit. He's mid. Justin Simmons is not the fucking best safety. I'm sick and tired of hearing that. 
I am sick and tired of hearing Justin Simmons is the best safety in the league. He's not. He gets burnt in coverage too. They, they did offenses just pick apart Justin Simmons. <sighs> I thought Demari Mathis, he was solid today. Tertan, obviously not a good day for him. That's saying Bassey. The guy fucking sucks. That's saying Bassey fucking sucks. Oh my god, he needs to go. We definitely missed Kawhan Williams today, man. Because <laughs> fucking it's saying Bassey fucking sucks. <sighs> um, one more do I say? I think that's it, about it. That's about it, we'll have to say. Other than we got swept by the Raiders three years in a row, this team ain't about shit, man. This team about, we're not good. Like I said, guys, I just don't see a bright future for this team right here. I don't see a bright future for this team. I just don't. We can't compete in this division. It wouldn't surprise me if we got swept by the Chiefs and Chargers coming up, you know. We'll probably go 0-6 in the division. We can't fucking do shit. It's embarrassing that the th out of the three wins the Raiders have, two are against us. It's just embarrassing, guys. It's not even a rivalry at this point, guys. It's not a rivalry at this point. They own us. And I'm not going to talk shit to Raider fans anymore. You know, in the past, I was running my mouth, you know, being a dumbass when I was younger. But I'm being real, guys. I'm not sitting here arguing with Raider fans anymore. They have the right to talk shit at this point. They have the right to run their mouths. They back it up on the field, and they own us. They won six straight games against us. The Raiders have brought the brooms out on us three years in a row. So, yeah. In my opinion, in the offseason, you got to go out and, like, fucking just rebuild this, off, this, rebuild this team. I'm willing to trade anybody. At this point, anybody's available. Anybody. I'm, I'm willing to release. I don't care. You got to fucking rebuild this team. Rebuild this roster. Because this roster is not a playoff roster. I don't want to hear an injury excuse either. I don't want to hear it. Don't want to fucking hear it. Good teams find ways to win. We're not a good team. And real quick. This defense. Okay. Everyone, everyone wants to say this defense is the best defense in the NFL. Right? No, it's not the best defense. Because... And close games, this defense cannot get a turnover. They can't make a big play or nothing. Like Josie Jewel, Josie Jewel and Singleton, they suck in coverage. They got burnt. The secondary got absolutely roasted. Devontae Adams and Josh Jacobs were wide the fuck open. It just, it just blows my mind how these guys just get wide open. I... Oh, man, this team gives me stress and anxiety, man. I just, you wonder why I really don't go to games, you know. You wonder why. People want to call me a TV fan. I'm not wasting my fucking money on this team right here. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that shit anymore. I woke up. I woke up. I've seen the damn light. So, other than that, guys, I have nothing more to say. I just want to do this video, go on a little rant. I am sick and tired of this team. Seven or eight years of this shit. And it's bad enough we got swept by Josh McDaniels. <laughs> the coach that the Raiders want to fire. The Raiders wanted to tank this game away. I've talked to many Raider fans out there. They wanted to tank this game away. They want to get a quarterback like CJ Stroud or Bryce Young. And they, we let them win. But if they win this game. It's just sickening. They want to tank, and we let them win this game. It's just it's just funny. We lose to a team that wants a tank. Not just once, but twice this year. Six straight games to the Raiders. Twelve or thirteen games to the Chiefs. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, other than that, guys, I have nothing more to say. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and click the subscribe button for more Colby rants on this channel. But other than that, guys, I am out. But other than that, I'm out. Peace. Have a good day, guys. Broncos, you fucking suck.